Wait. Yeah. Have you seen my safety glasses? <laughs> Here. Oh, I'll just use these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello friends! <laughs> Welcome to the Shanty to Chic Show! Hey everyone! So out of the hundreds of builds that we have done together and apart, our top and favorite builds for both of us have been our beds. Because there's so much bang for your buck and they're so easy to build. And I'm so excited about my new bed that I'm building for myself. I just, I got an itch to build a canopy bed and I'm so happy because when I looked at them at retail prices, they were over $2,000 without shipping costs. And I was able to build this for a tiny fraction of that. And she's also really happy because her sister's here helping her build it. So let's get to work. Let's go. Okay. So what are we doing, Ash? So the first step to building this loft bed is to assemble both side pieces. And they're massive, so we're outside. Yay! On the driveway. Okay, so these are actually going to be two by fours, and Ashley's gone and ripped those down to three inches each, and then we have laminated them together. So the first step is we're going to add this one by 10 board. Now this is going to be the base of the bed. This is what will hide your box spring or your hold your cleats. So we're attaching these with three, one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So if you wanna get me some screws out, that would be awesome. Screws incoming. So we've added three quarter inch pocket holes on the ends of this board, and I'm gonna attach it on the first side. Now, this is gonna be flush with the top and flush with what's facing me right here. So I'm using my Craig clamp in place. We will add a link in the description box below. Awesome. It's nice to have my Shaney sister to help. And we're attaching using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Oh. All right, so I am going to use my Craig clamp to line up the one by 10 with the leg. And this is gonna be flush with the top of this and also flush right here. So I'm using one and a half inch, I'm using two and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach. Okay, one side done, now we'll do the other. So we've got the one by 10 attached. Now we're going to attach the next part of the base. And that is another set of two by fours that I ripped to three inches. Hold on, I'm catching my breath. Okay, this is another set of two by fours that I ripped to three inches. I also nailed and glued these together. You'll notice there's pocket holes on the outside of both boards. <laughs> and this is gonna sit right above and flush with that one by 10. We've got this in place and we are attaching these two by fours in two places. We're gonna start on the back side. We're using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue to attach. So what are you doing, Ash? Tell me. So I am attaching this laminated two by four to the leg awesome. with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Do it. Okay, that one down. Now we're gonna move to the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, so at this point, we are going to add this top two by four and I'm marking three quarters of an inch. I'm just gonna use this board as my guide here, but I'm also going to use it, we're also going to use it as a support board to hold that board in place. So I've got that one marked and you can see I'm three quarters of an inch right here and then I'll set it three quarters of an inch off the ground using that. Same on this side, marking it and then I'll hold this board in place. Get some wood glue and pocket holes are facing which direction, Ash? Pocket holes are facing up. Up me or up up? Up up. Okay. Up to heaven. Oh, like this. Up to yes. heaven. Yes. <laughs> Pocket holes are facing up to heaven. <laughs> I'm using that one from now on. Let me get glue in it. And a drill. So I got my pocket holes facing heaven, as Ashley would say. <laughs> and then I've got it lined up. So again, three quarters of an inch off the ground and also three quarters of an inch from the top. And I'm attaching using wood glue with my glue bot. And two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Here comes train. Pause for train. And now I'll move to the other side and get it attached. All right, that's attached. What's next? Next is the cleats. The cleats. Had to think about that one, guys. Okay. Sorry. So now we're gonna attach the cleat. And the cleat is for those slats 
to sit on. Pay no attention to this bode board. <laughs> I, I had one bode board because I do Home Depot pickup and let them pick my lumber for me, so I'm not as picky right now. But luckily, I only had a couple of boards that were warped, so I knew I could use them as the cleats because I'm not going to need them. So, if you have a box spring, you want to put your cleats down low enough that you can set that box spring in there. If you don't have a box spring, all of our beds do not require box springs. You will just attach the cleat three quarters of an inch from the top of the bed frame. So, tell us what we're doing, Ash. Okay. So, I am marking because I do have a box spring, it's eight inches deep. So, I did the math and I am marking. So you did the math. I did the math. We'll see about that. <laughs> Famous last word. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm marking an one and three quarter inches to attach this cleat. Now I will add in the plans exactly how to figure out where you need to put these guys. But again, all of our bed plans do not require box springs because we use planks and slats. So that's kind of nice, but I like to have my box spring on my bed. My kids' beds just have a mattress. So we are attaching this really bent cleat with wood glue and two inch wood screws. Say that again, I can't hear you because of the train. Train, sorry. <laughs> We've got two trains. Adios, train. Okay, so I am attaching this really warped cleat with wood glue and two inch wood screws. Shanty clamp. There we there. go. <laughs> nice. Okay, so cleats attached. We're gonna flip this thing over and attach those other two pocket hole screws and cover it with trim and the side assembly is done. All right, so we have flipped this over and now we are going through these pocket holes on the opposite side. And this side will actually face the outside of the bed, so we're gonna cover it up here with trim. But we, trim. trim. But we are adding two and a half inch pocket hole screws on each side. Whoa! Don't you guys worry about those pocket holes, they're gonna be covered up. Woo! I feel like good. It. Got it. Okay, trim time. Nice work, thanks. So now I am measuring to fit this outside trim and that is going to be a one by four piece that I ripped to three inches wide to cover this side piece. And that will be at exactly 87 inches. So Whitney's gonna do, go do my cuts for me. No, I'm not. That's a good cut. Good cut. So I've cut this trim piece down and this is literally just for looks. It's no support whatsoever. I've ripped it to three inches wide, like I mentioned, and I'm attaching it with wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails. Easiest part of the build. Hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> Not that I ever mess up, guys. I have to say, I'm really excited to be building something for myself. I haven't built myself anything in a really, really long time. Like pre-quarantine. Oh yeah. Nah, you've done like a coffee table. I've done some tables, but this is actually just a green. Yeah. I haven't built myself my a bed. Beds, my beds are always my favorite things. So yes, I mine too. Well, I love building beds, period. Beds and dining tables. Yep. Okay. That, that trim piece is not going anywhere. <laughs> Ashley, tell me what's next, Sister Pants. Let, let me look, Sister Pants. <laughs> Pause for Whitney's jig. Okay, we did the side trim. Now it's time to do the headboard. <gasps> time for the headboard! Okay, Woo! so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna pick up the side and go put it over against the wall. All right, we are starting on the headboard. Ash, you wanna walk us through this really quick? Yes, so this headboard plan, I'm gonna have the option for both. I've decided to use Timeline Wood because I love the finish of this. I'm gonna use it on my matching nightstands. 
If you're going to use this type of wood, you need to use a half inch sheet of plywood to back it. If not, you can just use one by six boards. So the plans will have both. And this timeline wood is available at Home Depot and homedepot.com. And they have so many different colors. This is my very favorite finish. And I'm gonna stain the bed to match the dark parts in it. It's like crackly. I'm trying to get a good shot. There we go. Little nice barn, crack. Barn would look. Yeah. So these are only four feet long. So the way that I'm gonna plank this is by staggering like a bricklay almost. And I'm gonna start with um, a random cut and then just attach them with three quarter inch pen nails. And wood glue. And wood glue. All right. So now I'm attaching the first two trim boards. This is the back of the headboard. So we want these to be flush with the front. So I'm actually gonna hold it in place when I do it. And these are one by four, so we've ripped to three inches. So I'm gonna add just a line of wood glue. We're gonna do our short sides first, and then we'll grab the measurement for the longer boards. So it's flush, and I'm using 18 gauge brad nailer with one and a quarter inch brad nails to attach. And Ash, do you want to do the other side? Yep. Okay. So now that I've got the sides attached, I'm going to measure for the top and bottom trim and then the headboard is done. Okay, so we've got this all trimmed out. Now we're gonna take all of our assembly pieces inside to my room because that's the only way that we can get it in the house and we'll assemble it in my bedroom. Yay! So I'm drilling pocket holes into these two by fours for the headboard and the footboard. And I'm using my new Craig Jig 720 Pro. If you follow us at all, you know how much we love this guy. So this is going to be drilling one and a half inch pocket holes. Like so. And I wanna show you why we love this guy so much. So I just drilled into one and a half inch two by fours. And now, I'm going to switch and drill pocket holes into this three quarter inch board. And I don't have to make any adjustments like on the old K5. Lock it in place. And then all I have to do is adjust my depth collar to three quarter inch holes and that's it. It's really blows my mind every time I use it. Bada bing, bada pocket hole. So Whitney and I brought all of the pieces inside. So we did the two side assemblies already. There's not a headboard and footboard assembly because that is what's going to pull those two side pieces together. So we're doing that inside, which is great because it just got hot outside. So I am attaching this one by 10 board that I have drilled three quarter inch pocket holes into each end. I am attaching it to the back of the side assemblies and I'm using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. We're gonna attach it, and we're not using wood glue because I wanna be able to disassemble this and move it out when I'm ready for a new bed. Next week. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'll give it at least a year. Actually, the last bed I built in 2016. So. I know, isn't that funny to go back and look at that? Yeah, I didn't feel like I had it that long. Yeah. I also didn't remember how I built it. And it's when I crazy took it apart, how much like, support wow. one pocket hole screw. Did that pull it together? Yes. Okay, guys, that says a lot a for pocket, pocket hole screws. screws. The Craig Jig screw just pulled that sucker together, and Whitney's not even holding it now. Yep. It's like magic. Whoop. So this bed is actually a very, very simple build. It's all basic cuts. If you're a beginner builder, I highly recommend building it and you can impress your friends and say, I built that canopy bed. 
Little do they know that it's as easy as it is. I mean, it, it, it does help to have a sister come over and... I mean, it, does, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and we get to get lunch, so. Whoop! I have, I have a fun okay. question for all you guys out in YouTube land. Who do you think is the bossy... Who do you think is the boss of the two sisters? <laughs> I'll let you add that in comments. You've watched this for a while. Give me your take. Okay, so that was really easy. That's actually holding the bed together like so much. So now I am attaching one two by four on top of that, just like we did the side assemblies. And I'm only doing one for this because it's cheaper and you're not gonna see it once we have the headboard there. She's so. an 85 percenter, so. Save money, live better. <laughs> And if you really want to know the truth, that board was so bowed that <laughs> I'm not using it and it's not necessary. I'm so excited for my bed! Oh, oh hell! Hell's bells, Hell's Ashley! Bells. Oh, get, the, get the spacer! We're good! This one's not missing! Stop! Okay, got it, got it, oh, we're good. Got it. Okay. Okay, so if anybody wants to know what we're doing right now, <laughs> we are using... This is the easiest part. <laughs> okay, so if anybody wants to know what we're doing, we have eight inch blocks because that's where we want to put the headboard. And we are popping a few nails in to hold it in place before we actually attach it with screws. Um, and also for anybody that was guessing who the boss is, it's Whitney. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guessed that. <laughs> I need some guidance because I get distracted. Hot for screws! We have a three inch trim that lines up perfectly with the legs and there is a gap in the back side of it so that we can attach screws into the headboard. So now I am attaching the footboard one by 10. It's the exact same thing we did with the other sides. And we're attaching it right now because we actually need to move this bed over to get it centered on the wall and it's too wobbly. So we're going to shear Think, it up. Things I wouldn't have said out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's too wobbly because it's not completely attached yet because these side pieces want to do this when we move it. So, so we're going to build the baseboard and then we will go from there. Right? Right. We're good. So we've got the footboard pieces in place and now I'm going to measure and cut for this front trim piece right here. And it's gonna go and cover that trim right there and this trim right here. Okay, we have this entire bed assembled now. I have to give it a good sand down, fill my pocket holes, and give it a finish, but I can't wait for you guys to see how it turns out. That was a fun build, Ash. Actually, it was a little bit easier than I expected. It actually was easier than I expected, too, and I love how the barnwood looks on this with the contrast of the stain. It's just everything I envisioned in my head, it's perfect. Way to go. Thanks for helping me make my bed. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Shani out. Bye. <laughs>
Wait, I did. <laughs> Hold on, okay, say that again. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Video? <laughs> <laughs> okay, like Wait, watch our video! <laughs> she's just real excited. <laughs> and she's really hungry. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Video! <laughs> <laughs>